Okay, when we're talking about elastic collisions, this is the second day of collisions. So we're talking about collisions where things are hitting and bouncing. So there's momentum of two different objects. So they're moving and they hit. And then the two different objects are also moving. The inelastic collisions that we were talking about before, something would hit and they would join forces, right? Their masses would combine. This is different. There's two different masses. They stay two different masses. They hit and they both have different velocities or different momentums. So um, the formula for elastic collisions is this. So it's going to be um, so initial momentum. And you're going to write this small up here because there's going to be something down here that I'm going to write. Okay. I-N-I-T-I-A-L, initial momentum. And you should be copying this down. Initial momentum equals final momentum. Okay, and here's what that means. So object one, we'll say M1, V1. So that's the first momentum of the first object plus M2, V2. So that's the second object equals so this is all the initial momentum, the two things are either at rest or are moving, they hit, and there's the final momentum. So then we have M1, V1, so the mass, the momentum of this first object, and then we have M2, V2. Both sides are exactly the same. Okay, so first off, this first M1, V1, so I'm going to write initial right above these two boxes, all right? And then I'm gonna say M1, V1. So this is the momentum of first object. All right, the momentum of the first object, M1, V1. So obviously M2, V2 is gonna be the momentum of second object. All right, so initial means the beginning. And so after the initial momentum of the first and second objects, there's going to be a final momentum. So after they hit, in the end, there'll be something else. So we're going to write final up here between these two boxes. Top this box off. Okay, and that's going to be M1, V1, and I'm going to draw this line darker here because I don't want these two things to be confused. These are very different, okay, and this is final momentum of first object. And then obviously on the other side, we've got M2, V2, which is going to be the final momentum of second object.